Hi guys, today I'm talking about wind-driven rain. What does that mean? What do overhangs mean? What does flashing mean? I'm standing in the rain, Pacific Northwest. It's liquid sunshine to us. But anyway, I wanted to take you out to our shed. Here is a typical sidewall, no overhang. You can see the water on the siding all the way up. So we gotta, we gotta think rain falls straight down, right? Fall straight down, there's no overhang, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit the wall. What happens when the wind blows? There's no wind today, but if the wind blows, it's gonna push that water that way. Pretty obvious, right? No overhang. So we're gonna go around this side. There's an overhang. I'm gonna get out of the rain. I'm under about an 18 inch overhang, no wind. The water should be falling down. Actually, you can see kind of the bark. It actually looks kind of dry. But I want you to look at, I want you to look at the wall. You start seeing water. I'm seeing some water right around here. I'm six feet tall, six, seven, seven, eight feet up the wall. Even though we have an overhang, how is the water getting here? Wind driven rain. So people ask, hey, why do I need head flashing above my door if I'm under this overhang? Why do I need this metal? It's expensive. Why do I have to put that on? Because even on a no wind day, I'm getting water eight feet up this door. So what is wind driven rain? We've all been in the living room. You hear the water falling on the roof. Then all of a sudden, what's that water I'm hearing hitting the windows? Wind driven rain, right? So why do we do this for wind driven rain? The wind is the force that's going to push the water out of the building, it's going to push the water through the holes, and it's going to make us put our hoods on, right? Okay, so wind driven rain, overhangs, no overhangs, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching.